Hey there, it's Jamie Smith. Just wanted to share another quick video with you. Um, you may have seen this uh, page earlier. This is a confirma order confirmation page that I've added in the customer info onto. Uh, that's just one piece I forgot to share in the video earlier, that's actual print receipt button. Um, this is something that someone had asked me if it was possible to do, and it's actually pretty simple. I wanted to walk through exactly how to do this. You don't even have to have this customer info tab there. If you just want somebody to be able to have a button uh, that can print out the page, you know, look, we all know you can hit, um, you know, control P or command P if you're on a Mac and call up your print menu. Um, you know, so that's, that's great. That's no problem. But a lot of people that might be ordering your stuff, especially if you've got products that are uh, geared towards an older market, they might not know that you can do that. So giving somebody a nice print button right on the page that they can see is visible, that they can click and, and fires up the print command, uh, that just makes it a little bit easier. So here's the way that you can do that. Um, and this is what I've done. So I'm going to go into my ClickFunnels account here and I've got my order confirmation page. I'm going to click and edit to open up the editor here. And I'll show you what I did. So what I've got uh, to get this working is I've, I've again I've got my customer info tab uh, shown here, and then I've got the print receipt button. So what I did to get that is I actually went into this section, my one column row, and I added a right sidebar column section. Go ahead and click add to page, and then um, what I did is you know we'll just drag this customer info up into there. And then to add the print receipt button, all you need to do is add a new button. So add a button, click add to page. I'm gonna go into that button. The print, the URL action for this is just ampersand, or the, uh, yeah, the little pound sign, and then print, the keyword print. This works in the majority of newer browsers. It doesn't work in everything. It's not, it may not work on your phone. It's not gonna work everywhere, but it's gonna work in the majority of cases in newer browsers. It's not gonna work in IE3 if you wanna go back and use that. But if your browser is up to date, it's gonna work in most cases. Um, and so that's, that's gonna work for the majority of people. And then, you know, we can change this to uh, print receipt. And then I like that text to be maybe just a little bit smaller. So we'll make that 16. And then um, I'm gonna go in. I don't like the way this is lined up here. So let's just go in, we'll change some margins. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll add some, some left right there. We'll make that 40. And hey, now we're looking pretty good. And I'm just gonna delete this one out just so we can see that the new button works just as well as the old one did. And so if we go in, we can click save on this and we'll go in and do preview. Then we can click the button and notice that our print dialog box pops up so that we can print out our receipt. So that's how you do it. It's really simple. Just drop a button on the page. It can be anywhere on the page. Just put ampersand, or I'm sorry, pound sign, hashtag, whatever you want to call it, print, P-R-I-N-T, and it will cause the print dialog to pop up so that the person can print out that page. The other thing that is actually a little bit different about this one uh, that I'll share down below uh, is actually a print style sheet. And so you'll notice that on this page, this headline is great big. It's huge. We've got some extra stuff here. Um, again, this is this is a funnel I worked on for a client of mine. Um, and so we've got some extra images in there, which work great when you're actually in the browser. But when you print them out, they're not that great. So in this case, if we click print receipt and this comes up, we'll notice this headline is quite a bit smaller and actually all of that extra information is gone. So it's just the product information, the order information, and the details down below. So what I did is I actually created what's called a print style sheet. So it only gets applied if you're actually printing this document. So uh, that's easy to apply as well. It's just some special CSS. Uh, that goes into the custom CSS tab inside of the editor. And we use a little media query here that says at media print. And then we wrap and put in some, some custom style sheets inside of there. So I'll go ahead and I'll drop these. Uh, and also you'll notice uh, that the print receipt button is not displayed when you're actually printing it, which makes sense. You've already printed it, so you don't need to see it on there. So we just have a little display none searching for anything that might have that, that 
hashtag print on it. So uh, I'll throw this print style sheet down in the uh, down below and you can grab that, drop that in your custom CSS tab on your order confirmation page. It's only going to apply if somebody actually prints the document. You may have to tweak it a little bit, you may have to make it specific. I, I've got some specifics in here for this block. Yours will probably be named differently, uh, but it's a good jumping off point to be able to customize your confirmation pages to be printed out. Hope you found this useful. I'll talk to you again real soon.